Aloha everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ella and I help you retrain your brain. If you don't know anything about me yet, back in 2008 I survived a hemorrhagic stroke and a slew of other mental health issues that followed that. It wasn't until about 2018 I finally started turning my rock bottom into my breakthrough and I have not looked back since. Now I post videos every other Sunday helping you guys turn your rock bottom into your breakthrough as well. So if you don't want to miss any upcoming content, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm a lot more active day to day. In today's video, I want to talk about three different ways, three actual tactical ways that I worked on undepressing myself and actually optimizing my personal well-being. If you guys want to try any of these things, um, please keep in mind I am not a mental health professional, nor am I a doctor. All right, so the first way I undepressed myself was by realizing that my mood might have actually been so low simply because that was something I learned to do. I realized that I may have actually just been experiencing something called learned helplessness, which is essentially the idea that somebody feels or learns to feel helpless in a situation that they actually do have some sort of control over. This helplessness can be learned when a person experiences a particular stressful or traumatic event over and over again, or, and this is just my opinion, I believe it could also be learned because social media seems to be spreading a very prominent message that mental health is exactly like physical health and it should be treated as such. And again, I am not a doctor or a mental health professional, but let me explain what I mean by that. So in my personal experience of having a low mood, I am not going to refer to it as depression, I have found that treating my low mood does not actually mean treating my low mood as I would if I had strep throat or a cold or some other type of physical illness in that manner. I found that I needed to treat the causes that actually led to me having a low mood. For me, that meant a whole slew of things like food related, physical health related, vitamin and hormone related, stress management related, organizational related, self-confidence and self-worth related, bullying related. Those were things that I personally had to work on, but I'm sure that list can go on and on and on. Now, before I realized that those were all my causes leading me to have a low mood, I thought that the cause was something physical in my body that needed to be controlled by medication. Now, this was because I thought having good mental health or a positive well-being in life meant not experiencing anything negative. And boy, was I ever wrong on that one. So as more negative things happened to me, because that is just how life works, I figured I was destined for misery and sadness and I figured I had no control over improving my life after these negative experiences happened. I personally think I learned to be helpless in my own life when really I had 100% control over it. And to be clear, no, that does not mean I had control over other people and their actions. It simply means I have control over my own thoughts and my own behavior. I really thought that because I was having negative experiences in life, I was experiencing some sort of physical illness that could only be cured through medication. And that leads me to the second thing that I learned and did. Medication is not responsible for improving my mental well-being. Once I was prescribed with antidepressants, I was completely relieved because I figured my life was just going to get better. But I did not realize that I actually needed to be an active participant in improving my own well-being. So as you can probably guess, because I was solely relying on medication to improve my life, nothing actually improved. And so I figured nothing, not even this magical pill I was taking could actually make me feel better about myself and improve my life. So fast forward to today, 2020, I realized that the pills I was taking were only meant to be an aid in improving my mental well-being. They were not meant to be solely responsible for improving my mental well-being. The way I personally describe being on antidepressants is that they dulled all of my emotions all my reactions so that I actually had the opportunity to start learning about certain self-care tools and resiliency tools so that I can respond better in the future when negative things started happening. Eventually, by being able to learn about these tools and practice them efficiently and effectively while on antidepressants, 
I became confident enough to actually start weaning off of my medication. So yes, I am no longer on any antidepressants or any type of medication that aid in my mental well-being. Now that leads me to the third way I undepressed myself and that was by having a resiliency mindset over an avoidance mindset. So for the majority of my life up until 2018, as I mentioned, I thought that having a better life meant having less negative things happening to me. I tried my best to avoid negative situations and when they did happen to me because of course they did, I figured I was doing something wrong and I was just destined for misery. Now this avoidance mindset is completely unrealistic. If you have an avoidance mindset like I did, you are always going to be disappointed because negative things are always going to happen. You can't control other people's actions and you cannot control everything that happens to you in your life. Now I've actually adopted a resiliency mindset. Resilience means the ability to recover quickly after being negatively impacted. To adopt that mindset, I did two things. Number one, I expect that negative things are going to happen in my life so that when they do happen, I am not disappointed or surprised. And number two, I take every opportunity I can to develop and forge self-care tools so that when a negative experience does happen to me, I actually can respond as quickly as possible and recover quicker. I do actually have a formula that I use called the personal growth loop and this helps me foster and further develop my resiliency mindset. This is something that I use and I talk about with one-on-one -on -one clients and in my workshops. So if this is something that you want to discover more about, then I'm going to leave a link down below where you can schedule a free consultation or book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. If you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to take a screenshot. Post it to your Instagram story and don't forget to tag me so I can share your story and don't forget to hashtag retrain your brain. As always, I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to make this the year of you. Bye.